Salute family. Tank Commander Zulu back at you once again in the Real Man Movement. Today, here at the Real Man Movement, we're gonna be talking about courage and fear. And how courage needs fear in order for courage to be manifested. Let's talk about it here today at the Real Man Movement with Tank Commander Zulu. Fire in the hole, baby. What's going on Instagram, man? What's going on Instagram, man? Talk to him, Zulu. Salute family, Tank Commander Zulu back at you once again and the Real Man Movement. Before we get into the content today, I would like to invite everyone to become a subscriber to the channel. And once you subscribe to the channel, please hit the bell icon. There's gonna be a little bell icon that once you subscribe, that pops up, hit that also. What that does is it alerts you to all the content that I'll be providing and putting out via YouTube. And also when you look at the videos, I need everyone to give the videos a thumbs up. Go to my channel, go through the videos, there's a lot of content there, positive content. And go give the videos a thumbs up. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoy it and you believe that the content is positive, and it is necessary, in particularly in the environment that we're living in today. Now back to the topic of discussion, courage and fear. Well, the truth about things concerning courage and fear is that in order for courage to really manifest itself and to be shown, fear has to be present. Listen, we live as human beings. In the human experience, we can all relate to what fear is. There's no such thing as any person considering themselves courageous in any area where fear was not present. You see, courage is simply overcoming fear. It's not that you will not be affected by fear. Every man and woman, in one way or another, is affected by fear. But what makes us triumphant over fear is courage. And in order for courage to manifest itself, there has to be some type of faith system involved. Now I want you guys to listen to me real good. Because the content that you get here at the Real Man Movement with Tank Commander Zulu is content that you can use in your everyday life. It doesn't make a difference how old you are. It doesn't make a difference how much you may think you know. But the truth of the matter is we have to deal with everyday experiences from a perspective of knowledge. And when I say a perspective of knowledge, something that makes common sense not speaking over anyone's head or not uh, presenting ourselves as though we're, we're just wiser and smarter than everybody, but to be practical. In order for anyone to say that they are courageous or that, or, or that they have shown uh, uh, glimpses or they have shown themselves to be courageous and they have shown courage, they have had to have faced fear. Something that may have made you uneasy, you were uncertain about. It may have scared you. It may have made you think that you're incapable of dealing with it. You see, the thing about fear, it comes in all shapes, colors, and sizes throughout our lives. Normally, people think fear is it's normally about being fearful of someone or, or something. But there's deeper 
there's a deeper connotation concerning fear. And where we as real men and real women should stand. We should stand in the place of faith, understanding that as we stand faithfully, knowing that, listen, we are more than capable of handling this fear. Of defeating whatever is bringing this fear and uncertainty to us. Whether it's person, place, or thing, whatever it may be. That is producing this fear. Remember, fear is necessary for courage to exist. Without fear, there's no manifestation of courage. If you have not conquered something one time or another where you were fearful, you have not exhibited true courage. If you simply ran away from it or ran around it without facing it with some type of faith system inside of you, knowing that you are able to conquer that fearful thing, then you haven't shown courage yet. Let me give you a practical example for myself. When I was working, right? I had many, many years I had invested in a company that I was working with. Wasn't truly happy there. They were always laying off and, and, and getting rid of people all the time. There was a time that came in my life where I really got involved in other things outside of that job that would produce it would produce a sustainability to me if I really put my focus into it. But I was working at the job and I was working at the job fearful that if I ever lose this job, okay, what will I really do? I know I had some other things going on and they were really, they were really taking off at that time, beginning to take off. And I didn't know they would take off to the extent that they did, but listen, I was more pouring all of my energy into this particular job. Well, the time came, uh, I had some disagreements at that job. And so because of the disagreements I had, when the time came for layoffs, I was put in the bucket and I was laid off. It was necessary. Listen, there's a, there's a, a little bit of fear that came over me on that. But listen, this was so necessary and I want every man, every real man and every real woman to truly understand what I'm saying. I was put in a position where I had to utilize my faith system. I was fearful of losing that job. I had always been taught to have a job, always been taught to work. And because I was fearful of losing that, that job, uh, it, it put me in a place to where I was afraid to step out on faith. Now listen to this now. That fear I had to really come to a realization of it because now when they hand me the papers that I was laid off, I'm no longer working with that company anymore. I had an option to go right back into the workforce. I have degrees and all kinds of stuff. So it wouldn't have been hard for me to attain another job. But the fear, the fear of, I've always wanted to be in control of my own destiny financially. I never wanted another person to be in control of my livelihood. So there was, there was a fear of me stepping out courageously and saying, I'm going to be my own independent person. And let me tell you something. Because I did step out on faith. It was the best decision I ever made in my life. To where I don't have a boss. I don't have anybody in control of me. And that was exactly what I wanted, but I was always fearful of stepping out on it. So I really showed courage. I had to understand, but I was living in, in a fear bound to a job. And, and listen, it, I'm not telling everybody to get up and leave your job and do what you want to do, but I, I'm, I'm just telling you my personal experience. I was making over $100,000 a year at that job. And I wasn't happy. I make more now. I have way more now than I did when I was working for someone in a job. You see, the fear kept me at the job. 
the courage to step out on my own and be in control of my own destiny, that only came by having faith. I had to have, I, I believed in myself. Well, first of all, let me put it, I believed in God, that he is my provider and he is the producer of my provisions, not man. That was my belief. I also believed in my ability, what I'm able to do. And then, you know, and, and at that particular job I was working at, I was really truly being held back. The best of me could not represent itself because of some of the things that exist in that particular environment that I was working in. Yes, racism exists. Yes, classism exists. All of those isms, good old boy systems and all those things, they existed in that particular environment I was working in. And it just really wasn't for me. So I was able to detach. Although I didn't want to, I was put in a, in, in a position where I had to. And it brought a little bit of fear. Fear, I have a family, I, I want to be a provider. We're used to, I'm used to bringing in this amount of money. I never thought what I thought of, I've always thought that I could, I knew that I could be sustained because of my faith system and because what I believe about me. You have to understand and you have to believe something about yourself. I never wanted another man or, and I never will allow another man or woman to be in control of my happiness or my destiny or the provisions that God already told me and says to all of us, they come from him. So I'm happier than I ever was. But now this lesson, what, what I'm getting to is this. Fear had to come. Fear of losing a job that I wasn't really happy with 100% either anyway. But fear had to come and it had to be faced with faith in order for me to be courageous. And courage came after I conquered that fear. The fear of being able to provide adequately, to provide at the level that I was providing at, or even greater. There was a fear there being bound to that job. But now courage came, courage only came once that fear was conquered, once it was faced. Then courage came. Once I understood without that job, I'm still able to be a provider. I was able to use my mind adequately. I was able to be in control of my own destiny. I was able to be my own boss, make my own decisions about my future, and it turned out for the best. You see, courage is only manifested when fear is present. If you just, you, listen, you're not, you're not doing nothing with fear, and I'm using my example for my, 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 my position for an example. When I was working there, I was fearful of losing that job, being laid off. The reason I was fearful was because I felt that as much money as I was making, I would not be able to reproduce that through the other things that I had been, been doing and had going on. That was a fear there. Once I was put in a position where I had to activate faith, I could have easily went right back on into the workforce and did what, you know, the normally, normal people do. Sometimes they lay off that same job or call you back to come work for them again and lay you off again. Some people I knew got laid off two, three, four times. And in that cycle of fear, get the job, you're fearful, you're scared you're going to get laid off. You're scared this is going to happen. I'm going to lose my job if I do this. This person don't like me at the job, so I'm not, never going to get ahead. That's fear. You are actually living in fear. And I'm using this as, a, as an example because it's personal to me. I myself saw fear in my life in that, in that particular area. But I also saw that fear conquered by faith and by assertiveness. I just believed in myself. Listen. 
there's a story in the Bible. There's, there's a character in the Bible by the name of Joshua. And Joshua was so-called the protege of Moses. And once Moses died, the promised land that God had promised Israel, the leadership of that, once Moses had died, the leadership went to Joshua. It was Joshua's job to lead Israel into the promised land, the, the, the land that God had promised them, which was a land of milk and honey, meaning a land of substance and good things. Now, God had promised this to their descendants. But the thing that stopped their descendants from going into that promised land, that good thing God had for them, was their faith. They looked into the promised land and they saw giants. They saw fortresses. They saw all of their enemies in their strength. So they became fearful of going into the promised land. Although God had told them, listen, all you have to do is follow my instruction and you will occupy that land. But what happened to the Israel, Israelites at that time, they were afraid. So they didn't get to go into the promised land. And this was during the time Moses was living. But now Moses dies. And one of the faithful servants named Joshua, who's a warrior, he's now in control of the Israelites at that time who are now willing to follow the instruction of God. You see, this, this, is, this is very serious. And if we all pay attention to it, we'll have the same result. They paid attention to what God was saying. Although they had went and looked into the land and they saw the same thing. They saw that it was strong. They saw even giants in that land. And so in order to take over the land that was promised to them, which is Canaan, they had to face the forces that were in that land. And because Joshua had a strong faith and belief system, he, had, he knows what God can do and has done. He went and occupied and he was successful. That's a beautiful story in the book of Joshua, chapters 1 through 9. You really have to read those chapters and get the full understanding of what's going on here. Concerning fear, faith, and courage. You see, Joshua went right into that land and, and whatever giants he saw, no matter how strong the fortresses, fortresses were, how many of his enemies were there occupying, he knew that because what he believed in, he was more than able. He was more than able to bring Israel to that, tr to that promised land and defeat whatever opposition was there. Hmm. Wonderful story. Just like our, my experience. You see, there was a Canaan there for me. But there also inside of that Canaan were giants, were enemies, were roadblocks, were things that can produce fear. I was scared to walk into Canaan. And because I was put, put in a situation where I really had to, listen, understand my faith. Do I believe what I'm saying? Do I believe... What, do I believe what I say I believe in? And I took those steps. This is just one example. And I'm using my example because it's a personal experience. Of that when you have a faith system. And you look at fear. Things that are fearful. Just like Joshua did. He looked into the promise land. He knew that there were giants there. There was, there was a strong opposition there. But it didn't make him fearful. Because he stood on the principles of God, he was considered courageous. That was the only time that, he, that courage shows itself is when you face your fears. You have to know something about yourself. And because he did, Israel was moved into that promised land. They were more than able to defeat all the things that were producing fear through their faith, through, through their faith, which produced courage. It made courage manifest. You, we need fear, y'all. We need fear around us in order for courage to live. You're not, you're not considered courageous or you're not exhibiting any kind of courage if you don't face your fears. 
Whatever your fear may be, real men and real women face those fears. If it's in your family, on your job, in society itself, there's going to be a fear there for you to face. Do you believe in yourself enough? Do you even have a faith system? Do you believe in God enough to, to, to understand that he is your true provider and not man? Well, if you do, congratulations. You are a man and a woman of courage. But if you are afraid to face fear and run from everything, then you have never in your life experienced courage. You've only experienced compromise. And you leave yourself vulnerable to the attack of the giants and the enemies that live in the promised land that's right there for you. Make that decision today based on your faith. It's real, y'all. What we're talking about here on this channel is real in everyday life. Face your fear so you can be deemed as courageous. Courage needs fear, y'all, in order to exist. And with that, I'm going to stop the tank today. But before, listen, before we go, I want to also, once again, invite you to become a subscriber to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button. I need thumbs up and also leave a comment about the content. If you are enjoying the content, leave a comment so we can get into a discussion about the topics. And once again, I salute all those who have subscribed and joined the tank so far. We're still moving and grooving, y'all. Let's continue to spread this positive male enforcement. And remember, fear no man but God, baby. No man but God. Tank Commander Zulu, signing out.